Hey, Floss Tube! It's Karen, the Prickly Crafter. Um, I am back after another hiatus. Um, school gets in the way of everything, as usual. So, uh, school's over. It's been over for a couple weeks. Um, I've been enjoying my stitching time, um, knitting time, and reading time. So I'm getting all in from the semester. Uh, and I'm back. So hi. Um, so I got plenty of things to show you. Not a ton, but lots of new starts. Um, mania. Uh, and I got, I'm supposed to be on a stash restraint this year. And I did really, really well until two weeks ago. And then I failed. I failed because I went to the LNS that is in Denver, Colorado. Um, and let me see. Hold on. Sorry, guys. I'm not prepared. Um, it's called a Stitch and Shop. So it's located in Denver, Colorado. Um, the ladies there are very sweet, very helpful. Um, their organization of charts is amazing. Um, such a it's a really good selection. Um, I hadn't been there before, and I've been here for three years, you think I would have. Um, a dog might make an appearance. <laughs> um, she's right there, smelling the camera. Still, the light on. Um, <laughs> she mopes away. <laughs> and, so anyway, so, Stitch and Shop. It was great, I went there, and I was like, I'm not gonna buy anything, I'm not gonna buy anything. I bought stuff. Um... But I'm okay with that. I haven't... I've broken it now twice, technically. But that's okay. I'm trying. I'm definitely trying. So, anyways. So, I graduated um, a couple weeks ago. So, I have my bachelor's. Yay! And I'm starting a master's program in the fall. So, I'm getting out all of my stitching stuff. Trying to get as many things finished, worked on. Yeah. Finished and worked on. So... Without further ado, let's get started. Um, that's new. You're gonna have to bear with me. Everything is sitting over there. But, alright. This is my Lord of the Rings um, from Clouds Factory, like, long piece. There's, it's gonna go on for a little bit. But, yes, I left the snaps on the poor, poor guy. So, I get the lighting right here. So, I got Gandalf done. Um, I think that's Frodo. I'm gonna go with this Frodo. Um, and I'm deciding to work this direction, so... I still have a needle attached to this. Killing it. So, since the last time I think I showed this, if I even showed it, I don't actually know. Um, it's been sitting with Gandalf done, except for his staff. And all of Frodo. And I did all of this in a day. Well... A day is relative. I bounce between knitting, um, cross-stitching, beading, which you'll see in a minute, um, and reading. So I do a big circle, I cross-stitch, then I get frustrated or bored or get tired of working on what I'm working on, and then I knit for a little bit, and then I get bored of that, and you get the idea. So I got a lot done on this one. I was really proud of it. I'm trying to get this one done sooner rather than later. Oh no, I forgot one of my... Oh well, that's okay. I just framed it. You guys have already seen it. So there's that one. Um, deciding where to put things. Like I said, I didn't plan very well. I need to go over there. Alright, next one. Let's not show you guys the chart. Alright, so you guys remember Snapdragon? Um, I was trying to get this one done for County Fair. I don't think it's going to happen, which is okay. Um, but I did get a fair bit of progress on her, so that's... I think everybody's seen Snapdragon already. But, this is what I have done. Hopefully the light... Sorry about the lighting, guys. I don't know what to do about that at the moment. Wait. Did that do anything? I have glare on my iPad, so... Let's put it the right way. So I definitely worked my way down here. I got 
bunch of this section done. And down in here for sure. Um, we're also up in here. So that one's moving along quite nicely. Um, I really like this one, and I know it's not super beaded like my last marigold, which is now in Colorado. It's hanging on my wall. I'm so stoked. Um, but there's that one. It's going to be a short video today, hopefully, because I want to get stitching. So, next one is my little peacock, who is still very small. But I did some more of the border, so I got like a whole side done. Here, do you want to make an appearance? Come here. Say hi to the camera. Like, what? So this is Freer. She's cute. So cute. Alright. You must not leave. Go on. Thank you. <laughs> she just sits over at the camera like, excuse me. Thank you. Alright. So there was that one. That was a quick viewing. There wasn't a lot to it, but I thought I'd show it because I technically worked on it. Um... And my other two, no, that um, Lord of the Rings one is a new start, because I noted that in my journal, which is nowhere in within arm range. So that's a new start for you guys, I think. Um, next new start. We're saving the best for last, besides my knitting. Sorry, guys, I'm showing some knitting. Um, but I'll leave that at the end. That way, if you want to be done, feel free. All right, so my next one, which I started yesterday is this guy. So, Classic Literary Cats by Henrik Design, art by Terry Hawks. And I ended up getting this piece because this looks like my parents' cats. It really does. <laughs> I saw it and I was like, hey look, it's Bella and Lily. So I got it. And there's a sit. So, I got this much done. I don't know if you can see it. There's a blob. It's about 500 stitches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is all rolled up, so. But, it's on a... It's on a... Hold on. Wait for it. You'd think I'd know to be prepared. 28 count antique white uh, cashel linen. Yes, I'm doing a hate on linen. So far, so good. Haven't had any super wonky holes. Um, I just noticed there is one slub in it, but it's not going to be a big deal. Alright, so there's that one. Alright, last. Cross-stitched. It's not really cross-stitched. <laughs> Um, I alluded to it earlier, it's beaded. So, I'm getting married in July of this year, and I wanted to do a wedding sampler, but I'm not the traditional, like, want all these weird sayings, or a bride and a groom, or anything like that. I wouldn't hang that in my house. <laughs> like, I really wouldn't. Uh, or my apartment, in this case. So, I've been looking at an Alessandra Adelaide chart for a very long time. Um, I've been looking at hers for a while, I didn't have any, until I went to Denver, <laughs> and then I got this one. This is my stash breaking chart. I think it's worth it. So we're going to also include Paul in this little section. It's very small. So you saw the last one, and then it's this one. Um, Alessandra Adelaide, I was super stoked, and... I had this grand idea that I've seen on uh, Stitch, the Stitch Mania group, so I'm, this is not original, but um, so this is what my fabric looks like. It's a picture of this plus mirage. Yeah, I'll pull it up in a minute, don't worry. I don't want to sneak too much. So. I was thinking, I was like, I don't want to stitch it. I want to do something better. It needs to be special. 
So I'm beading it. The whole thing. So all those beads, there's about 500 beads on there thus far. But yay. Oh, don't mind my strings, my threads. I think I left a three inch border, if I remember correctly. So, in my Rocky Mountain Park um, Pine Ridge needle minder that I made. But this is what I was working on for a long time. Um, I took a break from it. Um, I was getting a little burned out. So I am trying to get it done kind of in a reasonable amount of time, but we all know how I roll. I don't get stuff done quickly, so. Yay, beads! So many beads. This is actually the top of this one, so the other curl is going to come down here that connects to the other root. Yes, I have a bent beading needle. Yes, I found it in the carpet, so I'm grateful that it's just bent and it's not chewed. So this has been what I was working on for, I think I did this in four days, four days? I spent a lot of time beating. Um, the other, so what I'm using on it um, is DMC 729 for the, I'm not using clear, I'm actually using the color of the background bead, or close to it. Um, and for, carefully now using 02011 for the beads. Um, I have no idea how many I'm going to need, but right now I have one pack that's done, two, three, and then this really old tube of the color in that mega haul that I got, so there's beads in there too, so I have, have some, that's for sure. Um, and the other bead color is open. Is zero two zero one zero. It's this has ice on it, so I don't know if that's really really a thing. So I got a couple packs from there. So I got three packs of this. I don't know if I'm gonna need that many, but that one there's not. Many. Um, the other lifesaver I'm gonna advocate for are the Beadsmith um, bead mats. Um, I got mine on Amazon, and they weren't expensive at all, and I love this thing. I love this thing. Um, I actually got it full of dog hair. Like, it didn't, st nothing stuck to it. Like, I just put beads on, they'd roll right off. All I did was rinse it off. Rubbed it a little bit, not super hard, just with my hand, just kind of got all the gunk off of it. Let it air dry, and it re -stickified. Made it sticky again. Um, and it's been great. Love this thing. Totally advocate for it. And for the beads on those, it took a long time, but I actually ended up going to 3866. 3866. And that's what we're going with. So, there's that. And Joanne's had a sale on gloss boxes, or photo boxes, but come on, they're floss boxes. Um, that I'm organizing my DMC in bags, um, in boxes. That's how I'm going to organize it, except for the mega haul ones, which are staying in the box, um, and I'm just going to work out of those with my, this tape. So, I also got, this lovely, all of this stuff was on sale, so I got it for like three bucks, I think. So this keeps my lovely beaded project safe. Be nice if you put all the stuff in the box. There we go. Um, the other thing, so I got the fabric, the picture of the post fabric, the beads, and the chart at a stitching shop. And I got my mom got me this one. So I didn't buy it. But it's another Alice under Adelaide. Adelaide, Adelaide. Sorry. But called Peacock. I am so stoked with all these blues. It's great. Um, I almost started this yesterday. I came really close. I still might. Today. Tomorrow. Maybe. I don't know. Alright guys, hold on again. I forgot something.
Okay, so that's been my cross stitching adventure. Um, haven't really worked on anything else, and that's okay. I feel like I got a lot of progress on stuff that I have been working on. So, um, if you're just here for cross stitching, I will talk to you later. Um, I'm gonna show two knitting projects that I'm working on. Well, two that I finished. Um, I'm just gonna talk about knitting for a couple of minutes. Um, so if you don't want to hear that, I'll see you later. So knitting. I started knitting in November of last year during um, Thanksgiving break because I was bored and <laughs> I needed something to do. So I picked up knitting again. Um, knitted some scrubbies, knitted a dishcloth or two, um, and hats mainly. I really like hats. So, the first one I finished this week is a lovely hat. I'll lift him up. This is my glass head. I love it. In case you're a knitter and you want to know where to get this, Pure One, 20 bucks. It's great. Um, I also made him a pom pom. I'm super stoked. I got one of those pom pom makers, um, the Lion Brand one and that didn't work and then I got one of these contraptions that makes pom-poms and then I got this it's great um, so this is for Isaac's dad um, yes it looks like a Gryffindor hat it is not it's a Spanish flag it's like a Spanish flag so it's got a rim on it you can move it to whatever however you want it um, it's not pinned down or anything so Hopefully he likes it. Hopefully it's warm enough. Um, something I didn't like about this, I love the ribbing part of this. Um, it's on a size 6, uh, 16 inch circular. Uh, and then I, the pattern that I was using called for a size 8 when you got to the, the head part. I probably should have stayed with the 6s. I think that this is too loose. I mean, it's not skin tight by any means. Like, it's really not. But I feel like the size 6s would have been better, personally, for my type of hat. But I think it looks alright. I think it looks fine. Hopefully he likes it. Carefully. So that's my hat. I finished something, guys. That's what happens when you Isaac goes to Spain. Um, I finished things. So the other one that I started and finished within the last week is a blanket. My first blanket. It is a very small blanket. It's like the size for a cat. Um, it hasn't been blocked because I don't have blocking materials to stretch it. I gotta wait for another paycheck or two. Then I'll get it. Drink. So this is how big it is. This is what it looks like. Um, what's kind of cool about it, you might be able to see it, is which I'm not sure because of my camera. I need to get a new iPad. Is it starts off green up here, then it goes to like a white in the middle, and it goes to blue down here. So this is held um, two stranded. I don't have the yarn with me because this is a cross stitch video, so sorry I didn't plan well enough for that. Um, eventually I might switch into having my own knitting podcast thing, but for now you're stuck with it. Um, held it double, one really thin. One little, one thin little guy. Um, so I started that last week and I finished it last night. Um, I did start another blanket that is the same pattern as this. Um, held single stranded with the one, those one pound yarns on a size 6 40 inch cable. So it's going to be a big And I was working on another baby hat for County Fair. But that's not important. That's easy. But, yeah. That's all I have. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks to all the subscribers and everyone who is like, are you okay? <laughs> um, I am. It's just school, senior, super senior year. Um, I had a couple of really hard classes this semester that they took up a lot of my time, so stitching just didn't happen. Um, and it's not going to get any better in the fall. 
But hopefully I'll be able to work on at least something, at least knitting anyways. But I'm going to try to do more videos. It just depends on how much progress I get. It's going to be a little crazy this summer too with um, bridal shower, which is next week. Um, oh, it's um, May 25th. Um, next week is shower. Then Isaac's friend's going to be coming out, which is great. Um, not sarcastic. I don't know if that sounds super sarcastic. No, it's great that he's coming out here. Um, and then we hit July, and then, um, weddings in July, so and then I start school right after I get back, so it's, my summer gets squished, but hopefully we'll be able to keep knitting, keep cross-stitching. My plan is to work on literary cats today, and then my, maybe I'll work on Snapdragon today. That could be cool. Alrighty. Well, thank you to all my subscribers again for bearing with me on this one. Um, sorry, sparse videos. And then this one's super short, so that's good. Um, I will see you all next time. Bye.